Hello, this video describes the process of embedding an SVG widget into a web page using Perfect Widgets. I'd like to show you how to export a simple clocks using Perfect Widgets Editor and add it to an HTML page and set up the JavaScript code to supply data for the widget. We already created an HTML document with minimum required number of tags. They are the head with the title and empty body tags. First of all, let's add some JavaScript libraries to the head section jQuery. This library is not required to work with perfect widgets, but it makes some actions easier. We create our project using script sharp library. MS Corelib is the client side library of this framework. And finally, let's add a reference to the perfect widgets library. Add the document ready handler. Note that we need to make a widget variable global to provide access to the widget from all parts of the JavaScript code on this page. We also need to add a stub for widget model object. We will add a real data later. Create an object for our widget. Now we add the div tag to the page to place the widget there. We will use this tag as the first parameter in the widgets constructor and the model object will be the second parameter. Now let's run the widget designer and open the clocks widget we've created in the previous video. We need to export this widget to JSON format and then assign the resulting JSON object to the model variable in JavaScript. Let's open our JSON file and copy its content. JSON contains lots of data so it can be quite large. Now let's open this page in the browser and see the results. OK, we have a clock on our page. And now it's time to set up the correct time. We create a function named setCurrentTime. GetCurrentDate. Now we need to change the slider's value of the widget. To access the slider, we use the getByName function. You can see the name of the slider in the document tree. As we can see here, our sliders are named hours and minutes. Let's return to our JavaScript and set value of these sliders. We use such a complicated expression for an hour hand because we need it to process the intermediate position and place an hour hand between the integer ticks on the widget. Finally, let's add the call for the set current time function to document ready handler and test the results. Now the arrows are moved to the right place. I'm sure we need to change their position every second. And I bet you can do it yourself using set timeout or set interval functions. Thank you for your time and attention. And don't forget to visit our site, httpperfectwidgets.com, to learn more about Perfect Widgets.